Hey guys, welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Today I would like to do an unboxing. Um, this painting is from Dreamer Designs. Um, it's called Sweet Candy Apple. It's by Romy Lerda. I first saw this canvas um, on a diamond painting channel called Kiss My Crafts. She has a very funny channel. But I thought this was just so beautiful because she, she was, she was um, currently working on her. And then later I found out that they're going to be doing a event in June. And so I'm going to do um, this canvas for that event. So, um... Dream Design canvases, they come first covered in a um, kind of a, a mesh material bag. It's not exactly mesh, but that's the only word I can think of to describe it. And then inside of that bag, you get your canvas. And then a tool kit. And it comes in this like real soft velvety bag. I just love the way this bag feels. So you get a bag of baggies. You get two pins, one with the metal placer, one with the plastic placer. You get um, two purple squishies, two purple plates of wax, and always take the plastic off of the top of the, the wax. Don't be like me and try a diamond paint with the plastic on. You get this little brush. I love this little brush. I use this already now. Um, when I diamond paint, sometimes like the, the, the tray, I have like residue or something that stops the drills from coming down all the way. And I use the brush to brush them down so I can get them back into the tray. It's a nice big bolt, and I also think it's cool that it has these div dividers. Um, they are flushed with the tray. You know, this one to, to prevent the drills from, you know, sliding. So I think that's nice, a nice touch. It also comes with a straightener. And I have never used these, but I'm going to guess this is a three and a seven placer. Could be a six. And you get a pair of... Pretty sharp tweezers that are branded Dreamer Designs. I'm going to set all this to the side and get to the good stuff. She's kind of a little bit at the top. That'll be fine. You can already see. The Sweet Candy Apple is licensed from Romy Lerda. It is a 60 um, by 90 centimeter or 23.6 inches by 35.4 inches. Um, their canvases, they do come um, scalloped and um, with some type of surgeon with the dots to try to prevent fraying. The canvas, the back of the canvas is soft, but it's not the um, DAC kind of soft, but it is soft. Kind of reminds me more of like of like craftably if you've ever done craftably. Well, her drills they do come labeled sweet candy apple. So if you store your drills um, separate from your canvas, um they're labeled for you. I'm going to try to fold her backwards, which I always struggle with, but she's pretty wrinkly. It's not going to hurt anything, though, because she is, um, she does have pork glue. Come on. Come on. I don't know why I struggle so much with, with um, Doing the canvas back backwards. Not really do. I 
feel like this canvas, I'm going to have to definitely let it lay out um, before I work on it. Okay. Oh, she's pretty big. I'm trying to get, get rid of some of the glare if I can. Getting glare from everywhere. So I'm just looking at her. She has a legend on her bottom um, left and her top right. Um, she has 68 colors. And by the look of this legend, let's see here. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ABs. So she has seven ABs. Just to kind of look at the cameras a little bit. It's the apple right here. Anybody knows me? You know I love diamond painting any kind of food or fruit. She also has an actual candy apple in her hand. Um, to me, I feel like she signifies like a more modern um, Snow White maybe. Because I feel, what makes me think of that is because of the skulls on the top. I'm gonna kind of roll it down so you can see it because she's pretty big. So look at those skulls. To me, that kind of represents maybe death. This even could be maybe the mirror where the um, the evil queen is looking at Snow White. You know, mirror, mirror on the wall. Um, but I really love, I think this paint, I think it's so pretty. I love all the, the bright greens, the purples, the red. She even has like a little collar on under her shirt. Her little blue jeans. This is going to be very nice. I'm going to take a, a second now. And I'm just going to kind of um, lightly pan over the canvas since it's so big and you can't see the whole thing. So we have um, Sweet Candy Apple again by Romy Lerda. Um, these are stickers. They're removable stickers. So you can label your drill containers. And again, 68 colors and it has three, seven ABs. So let's kind of take a look at the diamonds. First, I kind of just want to show you all the... Oh, and I didn't mention, guys, this is a round. This is a round painting. So, for you round drill lovers, this is perfect. Oh, let's look, let's look at these beautiful colors. The teals, the peaches, the red, the yellows. It's going to be right up my alley. So let me kind of, I'm going to open this up. I'm apologizing now for the cream. So we have 154, 208, 209. That's going to be some nice shading. 300, 301. Nice shading. Okay, here comes our 310. One, two, three, four, five bags of 310. And I'm thinking it might be more. So I'll stop at five. I'm just going to pick this one up with six. Seven, seven bags of 310. 
but really, um, if I'm correct, yeah, like this background part here and her hair, all the background at the top, it's all 310. But that's okay. I don't have a problem with 310. When it gets born, I'll just switch to something else and then come back. So then I have 317, 318. That's going to be, again, nice shading. 321. 327, 400, 413, 414, like, ooh, and 415. That's going to be some really nice shading between those. I like um, paintings that have shading. I like the detail. Um, that's why I really don't mind doing the bigger paintings because you get more detail. 806, 807, 814. 815, more shading, 818, 819, 820, 823, 904, 472, 498, 543, 718, 728, 760, 761, 762, 796, and 797. Again, beautiful shading. 3608, 3606, 3708. Oh, excuse me, I said that wrong. This one's 3706. I apologize. 3706, 3708, 3712, 3713, 3721, 3766, 3770, and 3799. Thirty-eight oh one, thirty-eight twenty-two. That's a pretty yellow. Thirty-eight thirty-seven, thirty-eight forty-three, thirty-eight sixty-two, thirty-eight sixty-three, thirty-eight sixty-four. And here starts the AB. So this is um, AB one, which is like a purpley AB. I probably won't read these off. I just maybe say what kind of colors. This is that beautiful white AB. If you don't know what an AB is, um, AB stands for Royal Borealis. It's really just a standard drill, except it has a pretty iridescent coating on it that makes um, the drills the drill shinier and prettier. That's a pretty light yellow. We'll get down to our last few. We have 905, 906, 915, 935, 938, 3371. Then our last one is the last of the ABs. So we have a real pretty green. I can't wait to see where this goes. And then we have oh, they, they named this one AB666. This is a red AB. And I really like the way this red AB looks. Sometimes to me red ABs look kind of pinkish. But this one still, it really keeps its red color. So I kind of like this from Dream Designs. That's nice. And then it's a, a light blue AB. Whoops. <laughs> Butterfingers. And then a real light pink AB. So let's kind of see where these go. Zoom back out a little bit. <sighs> Again, I'm sorry for the glare. Oh, yeah, 
Okay, so the on the canvas. Well, actually, I will just look at the sticker sheet. That'll be easier. So the first A B is the light purple, which is the I don't know sideways triangle. So let's see here. I bet it's in this soil right here. Yep, it's all up in here, all through here. And let's see if I see it anywhere else. Probably not because you didn't get a whole lot of that purple. Um, I think that's the only place. Let me double check. Yes. Oh, I got a loose drill, y'all. Look at that. <coughs> Hope it's not a hole, my bad. I'm gonna have to go look. Okay, our next one is the white AB, um, which is the circle. So, let's see here. Well, in the instant, I thought it would be some in this apple, but it's not. So, it's in the the part of this candy apple where she has um, taken out a bite. It's in her eyes. It's in the skull. So, I'm going to have to roll it down just a little bit. It's all in the eyes of the skull here. Not this one, though. It's in the top of this one. Uh, let's see, anywhere else? It's a little bit of her lips. A little bit on the stick of the apple. Uh-oh, it's in, it's in the, the um, lips and tongue on her shirt. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and it's also dotted all around in the background here. So all the little white dots are A-B. That's pretty cool. So our next one is the light um, yellow. And that is an hourglass symbol. So let me see where, where we have some hourglass symbols. I would think it would be somewhere. Oh, it is. It's it's mixed in into the filigree decoration around the, which I'm going to assume is a mirror. Um, it's a little bit here. It's like all kind of just mixed in to the side of the, let me see where else. Hmm, what's so here? But then I don't see. Okay, it's kind of dotted down here. These little dots are the light yellow. A, B. Let's see on this side. Okay, it's a little here, here, here. So it's just kind of mixed into the bottom filigree. I don't feel like it's at the top of this. I'm gonna roll it down and take a look. Oh, she's a little bigger than I thought. I'm gonna go and get her done in one month. I gotta see. Even if I start early, I got so many projects going. Huh. <sighs> no man, she'll get done this year, I bet you that. I'm planning on having it. I'm gonna start doing some smaller canvases though if I'm gonna try to get the goal complete. That I wanna get complete. So no, I just kind of see it dispersed on the sides of the frame. It's not at the top. It's nowhere else. And you really don't get a lot, so it makes sense. All right, our next one is the green, which is the arrow tilted down. And I know it had, yep, it's right here. I knew it. I wonder what does this signify? Maybe when I put it together, I could, oh, I know what it is. These are the hats of the seven drawers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what it is. I've been trying to figure out what those little things were. <laughs> it's the hat. Yes, this is definitely signifying Snow White now. I'm no longer guessing. This is so cool. So, yes, it's definitely it's in this hat right here. And I don't think it's anywhere else. I don't see any green anywhere else on this canvas. Oh, this is I can't wait to do this. It's so cool. Then we have the red AB, which is the X, which I'm assuming, yes, it's in the apple up here. It's some of her bandana. Can y'all see the bandana? Put it down just a little bit. It's some of her bandana. It's all kind of mixed into the bandana. It's in her lips. It's in the handle. It's some in the drawers hat right here. And some in the um lips on her shirt. Not in the tongue, but in the lips. This is going to, oh my goodness, this is going to be so beautiful. And I'm thinking about, you know what though? By this being around though, I probably can work this up pretty fast. So, our next was the blue AB, which is like a, I don't know, a circle with a half moon in it, kind of, what, what it makes me think of. So, it's not in her blue jeans. I thought it might be in her blue jeans, but it's not. Okay, it's coming down her shirt, kind of highlighting her shirt on both sides. And we didn't get a lot of this. So that may be all the only place that it's at. 
Let me just kind of double check around here, but I'm not, I don't think it's too much. No, that's it. And if you look, we didn't get that much. Here's another drill. Now what's going on with all these loose drills? I'm gonna check these bags. Oh, I want leakers. And then our last AB is that light pink AB, which kind of looks like a, like, I don't know. I want to call it like a scientific danger symbol, danger symbol but we're going to say an hourglass, a black hourglass. So let's see what that would be. Okay, it's in the top of um, his hat. Uh, not in that hat. Mm. Is there any in her lip? No. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta find out y'all where this one is. I'm not too sure. That might be all of them. Let me see. Well, it's not none of her face. Yeah, that's it. So again, we, we didn't get a whole lot of it. It's pretty much going in one of the seven dwarfs hat. Seven dwarfs hat. So again, um, this is um Sweet Candy Apple by Romy Lerda. I will um I will um link this um painting in my description box. Um, if you want to purchase, I'm not sure if it's sold out. Um, but if she's not, I'm I'm saying I'm I'm gonna suggest to get her. I think she's absolutely beautiful. The colors are beautiful. I love the placement of the ABs. You get a lot of ABs, but it's not just too much. It's gonna be just enough to give it a real pretty pop. And then who doesn't love apples? I mean, hey. So, all right. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you're having a great day today. Um. Thank you again and bye.